Hi theatre fans and welcome back to my channel. So today, Wednesday the 26th of September, I am off to Swansea Grand Theatre to see the current UK touring production of Blood Brothers. Now I saw this show last year for the very first time in Bristol on its final night of the last UK tour and I'm very much looking forward to seeing it again on its current tour. Um, with obviously with a different cast. So um, I've been to work, I've just left work now. I thought there's no point in me going home, so I'm going straight down over to Swansea, hopefully grab some food and then enjoy the show tonight. <laughs> Yes, please. back to the review part of my vlog. As you've just seen, I went to see Willie Russell's Blood Brothers at the Swansea Grand Theatre. Now, I saw Blood Brothers for the very first time a couple of years ago in um, Bristol Hippodrome on its last night of the last leg of the UK tour. And um, I, Blood Brothers has been around for many, many years and I've never actually had the opportunity to go and see it. So, um, when I went to see it a couple of years ago, it was um, a Christmas present from my brother, uh, who he and his wife um, saw it up in Liverpool, fell in love with it, and wanted to go see it again, and they invited me along. So I love in musicals, I couldn't resist uh, an opportunity to go and see it. So I did, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So when I heard it was coming back on tour again, and it was coming to uh, one of my local theatres, 
I decided to go and see it again. Now, the story of Blood Brothers is um, a simple concept of Mrs. Johnston, who um, is a single parent of about, I think, four or five children, very, very poor, and um, she falls pregnant again uh, with twins. And while she is pregnant, she is cleaning the house of Mrs. Lyons, a sort of well-to-do um, lady who sadly can't bear any children to her for her husband. And she concocts a plan that, um, that Mrs. Johnson should give her one of the twins to help ease the, um, the burden of having so many children and the cost and the money and the implications of having so many children. So she just says, so why don't you give me one of her children? And Mrs. Johnson takes time to think about it and then decides to do so. Um, she later regrets doing it. And because Mrs. Johnson and Mrs. Lyons are um, Christians, they, um, and they are true to their word, um, as much as Mrs. Johnson doesn't want to give away any of her children, she made a promise and Mrs. Lyons then takes one of the twins away. Now, Mrs. Johnson is very superstitious, so Mrs. Lyons uh, hones in on that and says that should any of the twins uh, find out later in life that they find out that they are the same of blood brothers, then um, they will both will die. I think that was said to, to scare Mrs. Johnson so that she doesn't uh, feel regret or come chasing after the baby that she gave away. So years later then, um, the children start to grow up and as children then both um, both brothers, unbeknown to each other, that they are related and become friends and Mrs. Lyons catches wind of this, doesn't want the two to, to be around each other and decides to uh, move away from the Liverpool area. At the same time, the area that Mrs. Johnson is living, which is a very down and out sort of trodden, a rough area of the heart of Liverpool, um, she, they um, have all been evicted because they are, I think, knocking down all the houses to make um, better accommodation offices or flats or something like that. So they are relocated to the um, countryside just outside of Liverpool, where subsequently, similarly close to where the Lyons family are living as well. So years later then, um, um, in the early 20s, Mickey, one of the twin brothers, forms a relationship with Linda, who was one of his sort of on-off girlfriends from school, and they get married and get a flat together. Um, Mickey then um, falls foul of the police and is, suffers with depression and anxiety and a lot of mental health. And um, Linda finds it very, very difficult to, to live in this sort of environment. And she finds um, support and comfort in Eddie, the, um, the other twin brother who has just come back from university and now is a barrister. And they sort of form a close relationship where to the point where Eddie um, also fancies Linda as well. Now, um, while this all this is going on, Mrs. Lyon sees that there is some sort of a relationship formed between Eddie and Linda, and then um, deliberately goes and tells uh, Mickey of what is going on, basically points it out to say, look, you know, the, the only way they, these two can separate from each other is that they actually fall out and don't become friends. And um, so Mickey, in, in a very, very bad way in the state that he is in, goes to confront um, Eddie while he is in court um, defending someone and um, subsequently the truth eventually then comes out because Mrs Johnson turns up, tells the truth that they are blood related. Um, obviously Mickey takes it very very badly because he's thinking well why was he not given away to a better life? Why has he had to suffer at the, of, of everything he's been through? And subsequently shoots his brother, Eddie, um, and at the same time, uh, Mickey gets shot as well from the guards that are surrounding the, the courthouse. And they both die um, at the end. But that's not really a spoiler because literally the very, very opening of the show, you actually start off with two dead bodies of brothers and you find that they are brothers, blood related, um, but you don't know why they are dead. So that's what the story is. Um, out through the whole of the show and um, obviously it ends then with Mrs Johnson singing the well-known song um, Tell Me It's Not True which usually brings the whole audience uh, into a blubbering mess and crying their eyes out 
Um, and while all this is going on, there is a narrator as well who narrates the whole story and pushes the story forward so that you know this years later and, and, and so on. And he has a, a sort of, not necessarily a crucial role in the part, but he plays a support part um, throughout the whole show as well. So the majority of the cast are returning from the last UK tour, in particular um, Sean Jones as Mickey and Mark Hutchinson as Eddie. The rest of the cast are practically the same as the last UK tour as well, um, who I saw on, on the last tour. But the only two differences that I noticed um, this time was uh, Mrs. Johnson was played by Lindsay Hatley, and the narrator was played by Robbie Scotcher, both of whom have got a wealth of um, theatre and TV behind them. Now sadly I wasn't the biggest fan of these two lead roles and that's only because I'm comparing them to the last production that I saw which starred Lynn Paul as Mrs Johnson and Dean Chisnell as narrator and both of them I thought were absolutely outstanding in their roles. So I know you shouldn't really compare um, uh, actors but it's very difficult when you saw the quality of the actors in the last production was so high. Not saying that these two were actually bad actors, in fact, they weren't at all. You know, they were very good. I just couldn't connect to either of these um, performers. And while I cried and got upset with Lynn Paul singing, tell me it's not true, um, this time around with Lindsay um, Hadley, sadly, I didn't have any emotion at all. Um, like I said, she's not a bad actress at all. You know, she played the role very, very well. Um, I just, sadly, I, I felt she was missing something and I don't know what. Now, Lynn Paul has been criticised for being too old to play the character and I can understand that. I can. I can. So, you know, if any of you know, the audience members thoroughly enjoyed their performance and rightly so deserved their standard innovation. Um, but the whole cast and crew pulled together very, very well um, and they all did a fantastic job. Just unfortunately, in this time, this production didn't hit a nerve with me at all. All. Now, talking of the production, I do feel Blood Brothers is a little bit dated. It has been going on for many, many years. I think it's about 30 odd years now. Um, it is a great show. It really is. And, and I feel that the set is quite dated. I understand why it's meant to look dated because it's meant to be based in the 80s in Liverpool and down and trodden out um, areas as well. But I don't know, it just felt it just felt dated in, in comparison to today's modern day musicals. Um, you could say that a Phantom of the Opera and a few other musicals as well that have been around for many, many years, including Les Mis. But um, I, I don't, can't put my finger on what is missing from this show. It could be the fact that I've just not that long ago saw the, for the production for the first time a couple of years ago. So it could be that it's still fresh in my mind from that. So had I waited maybe another few more years, then I probably would have enjoyed it more. I don't know, would I see it again? Yes, I would. I, I think it's, um, the story's okay, the music is, is quite catchy, it's got some nice songs in it, um, and I'd love to see it again. Maybe with a bit of a different cast as well, because I have heard that some of these cast members have been in for many, many years. Um, so I like to see a variety of different actors, um, which actually contradicts what I was said earlier about um, Lynn Paul and Lindsay and uh, Dean and, and Robbie earlier. But, <sighs> I, I just couldn't put my finger on what was missing this particular time. Nevertheless, I thoroughly enjoyed this show. Um, it is a good show. It has a big fan following. Um, it's based on a book, a Willie Russell book, and I know a lot of schools, high schools certainly, um, study it as, as, a, as a text for as, as literacy and write in English. Um, but for me, going and seen as a musical fan, um, I enjoyed it. I just felt there was missing something. So anyway, that's my little um, roundup and review of Blood Brothers um, at the Swansea Grand Theatre. Have you seen it on its current UK tour? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the show. What did you think of the characters, the storyline, the music? Um, any thoughts and opinions really? So leave them down in the comments section below. And if you like this video, you can please give it a little like. And if you want to see more videos similar to this, then please hit that subscribe button as well. I regularly visit the theatre as often as I can and I try to do as many vlogs as I can as well. So if you want to see more vlogs like this, I'll know when I'm posting them, please hit that little bell notification so you know when I'm posting them. So all that's left for me to do is to say thank you very much once again for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you on the next video and until next time happy theatre.